Some of you guys might be aware of the skip towards the end of the Darker Side dungeon known as Glidon Skip. We covered it recently in our All Moons video, but what some of you might not know is that just before that, there is another skip that's just as obnoxious and just as swaggy looking. If you're familiar with the Flower Road skip in Wood Kingdom, this strat is well, similar, in the sense that we skipped the flower road, but boy are things a bit crazier. If you didn't catch the end of the last video, we've recently launched a Patreon. All proceeds go towards the stream and the channel to help make both possible, as I slowly take more and more time away from work. We have some gamers already over there, and I greatly appreciate all of you. Even if you don't think you can contribute, it would mean the world to me if you would just pop on over and take a peek. Big thanks to Dangers for providing most of the footage for this video. His links will be down in the description below. But anyway. Darker Side FRS is a strat in the Darker Side dungeon, of course, using Yoshi to speed your way over some serious sized gaps, only to pull a classic Mario, ditch Yoshi at midair, and make your way forward using some fast movement. But that's not very descriptive, Tom, so how exactly do we go about doing this? Well, once you've made your way up the vertical wall, we're gonna use Yoshi to gain some speed. If you didn't know, sticking Yoshi's tongue out with a wire express and then pressing again and holding that button will cause Yoshi to grab onto the floor and begin running much faster. So we're going to use this to our advantage here. Building up speed, running over the P-switch to activate the flower road, then running along it for just a moment, and then jumping up in the air and fluttering to the platform. Aim towards the bottom left of the platform so that we can then aim towards the top right, stick out Yoshi's tongue, and grab onto the floor again to then build up speed, jump over the edge, and then while heading towards the platforms in the distance, once Yoshi has dropped below about the middle of the screen, press and hold the jump button to get a max height flutter. And then just after Yoshi has hit the peak of his flutter, uncapture Yoshi, throw Cappy towards the platform directly in front of you, and dive. Jump after you land and get a Cappy return jump, then dive onto this platform here and buffer a spin bound. Then do a spin bound, pull back a little bit so you don't bonk, and throw Cappy forward, dive, and then once you land, side flip, then once you're at the peak of your side flip, once again, throw Cappy forward and dive. Then long jump forward, and once you've fallen to almost the bottom of the screen, as you do need quite a bit of distance here, cap dive and dive forward. Jump up to the next block, then double jump up in the air, then dive onto the top of the last set of blocks, and then long jump over towards the Sphinx platform. Cap dive and dive onto it, and to safety. Then, you have one of two options, depending on what category you're running. If you're running all moons, or hundo, I guess, do your normal Sphinx questions, get the coins, and then use the flower road as per usual to cap throw and jump farm. You're gonna save more time overall getting these extra caps and jumps than you would be to do some extra trickery here. But if you're running darker, once you land, roll boost once towards the other side of the platform, then begin a triple jump with your final jump being at the very edge of the platform and then vectoring towards the right. Once you've fallen what looks to be just below the platform in the distance, cap dive forwards, getting a little extra vector in if you can, then throwing out and holding Cappy towards the right, then diving towards the left onto the lava. Take an intentional hit of damage, then as you're burning and bouncing up in the air as Mario, position yourself over Cappy and bounce onto him as Mario, and then cap stall against the wall in front of you once you're at the peak of that bounce. Then wall jump off the wall, cap throw forwards, and dive up top. Congrats, you just skipped a long and boring flower road segment. Should be noted, if you do this in an all moons run, or I guess hundo as well, you will need to account for the cap throws and jumps you'll be cutting out of the first section of the flower road. It's nothing too crazy, but it is something that should not be forgotten about. And now you might be looking at all this and thinking to yourself, well, Tom, this strap must save like a million years. <laughs> No, definitely not. Have you been listening to any Odyssey strats? I don't really have any exact numbers, so take this with a grain of salt, but in Darker, it's only somewhere in the neighborhood of like nine-ish seconds, and in All Moons, maybe only like half of that, if that, after accounting for cap throws. All right, so Tom, clearly that means you recommend this for me in my speed run, right? Right? <laughs> If you wanted to see strats as swaggy and pointless as this one, pulled off in the context of a speedrun, consider heading on over to my Twitch channel, which is linked down below. And if you haven't already, and you still wanted to, it really would mean the world to me if you went on over and checked out the Patreon. There's lots of behind the scenes and exclusive stuff that's unlockable over there, and coming in the future, of course. So if you want to know what's coming out before it's here, that's the place to be. But outside of that, thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, big thanks to the members of the Patreon that are helping to make this whole thing heck impossible. So once again, big ups to Georgie, Bryant, Natasha, Rain, Jason, 
And now King as well. Much love. Thank you for helping support the content. It does mean a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video.